going on? Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, whenever you find this. Jerry Mora here. Thank you so much for watching this video. I want to talk to you about something very near and dear uh, to me. It's a topic that uh, is very important to you. Uh, but hold on a second. Let me just show you my view. I want you to understand uh, what I do every single day. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? <laughs> and, uh, of course, uh, that's actually my drive. I'm actually driving to work. So uh, it's actually May 23rd. Um, and it's actually uh, 2013 so uh, this is my breakout year I'm very excited about it I just came back from no excuses for and uh, I don't think it's I, I've, I've never been more focused more driven more uh, excited about my future and about literally getting off this freaking drive um, and uh, you can too all right just watch okay just watch me okay literally fire my boss watch me actually you know, one day I'm going to actually drive drive in and you're going to see me seriously do the deed. <laughs> okay, so uh, I'm excited about that. I just came back, like I said, from no excuses. This has been an amazing, amazing conference. It really was an epiphany moment for me. Uh, many, many things I could share with you. But what I wanted to share with you now is something that one of my teammates actually brought up to me yesterday was. Now, this is a gentleman who just joined me uh, in my primary company. And uh, he uh, basically sent an email out to some of his friends, and he got a reply back, uh, and his friends were literally bashing him, okay? Have you ever been bashed before from people that you care, people that care about you, people that supposedly care about you? And uh, what happens? What do they do? They bash you for actually joining a company. They actually call whatever you're doing online, no matter what it is, whatever company it is, they actually bash you because they, th they say it's a scam, right? And uh, they have no idea what you're doing. They're not even asking you questions about what you're doing. Uh, they just tell you, what are you, crazy? You know, nobody's making money online. They, you know, they're calling it a total scam. So uh, it's kind of like, you know, have you been there? Have you, been, have you done that? I mean, personally for me, it's been a long time uh, since I've had really family and friends actually really come down on me. Uh, I remember years ago, uh, when I was in Amway and I really, I talked to some of my friends about it and they just totally, they bashed on me and uh, I didn't let that stop me. I just literally persevered and just pushed right through it and I, I stopped being friends with those people. <laughs> I just literally moved on to a whole new set of friends and uh, even though those those people actually I still, you know, obviously are friends with but I stopped hanging out with them. It was just naturally what happens. So I selected, I decided that, you know what, if people were not going to really be there to support me, encourage me, maybe become a customer of mine, then, uh, you know, I was like, uh, that's fine. Okay. I'm going to still do this. And, um, you know, people say the same thing, you know, whether or not you start a diet, you know, they, they, they don't believe you could do anything. Uh, do you realize that? Okay. Most people, uh, if you step out of your comfort zone, they will literally bash you. They will just say, no, you can't, you know, you can't, you can't quit smoking. You've been smoking for too many years. You know, oh, you're overweight. You know, you can't lose weight. How, what are you going to do now? You're going to try that diet? Oh, you're going to try it again? Oh, okay. Or, you know, they tell you, you tell people you just, you know, got a gym membership. It's like, oh, you know, so you're going to go to the gym now? Uh, you're going to lose weight? Uh, you're going to get fit? You know, people will do that. They will just bash you, bash you, bash you, bash you, bash you. And then it just comes down to what are you going to do about it? You know, are you going to let these people tell you? All right. Are you going to let them decide your future? So I just say, you know, without a doubt, I've never been the person to uh, listen to other people who are broke. Okay. I've never listened to people that, you know, literally have not achieved what I'm looking to achieve. Tell me what is right, what is wrong, what is a scam, what is not a scam. I've always made that decision on my own and consulted with others that were in the field. All right. So. That's my only. That's my only. Uh, you know, point of view today. I just wanted to make sure that my good buddy Jason, who just came on board, he stays the course and he realizes that you know what, you decide your future. You decide, you know, your, uh, you know, where you go from here. Okay. Obviously, you you want to stay plugged in. Stay plugged into your coach, your mentor. You know, if that's me, awesome. Uh, and for Jason, it is. So I'm excited to work with you, Jason. I want to wish you continued success and stay the course and, and obviously know and realize I am here for you. Okay. When I got started online, I was grateful because I found one person at the time that knew a lot more. Okay. This guy was a six figure earner and bottom line was, is that I was lucky enough to find him, spend time with him. And that's what I encourage you to do. Find a coach and a mentor to work with 
and make sure you stay plugged into them, even if it is once a day. Okay, that's the reason why Facebook Message is my favorite form of communication. All right, guys, love you. Over and out. Bye.